All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here, and we're on day three, the leg day of our high intensity band training at home. For those of you who are stuck at home because the world's in a panic right now and all the gyms are shut down. So, legs. See this little thing here? This is gonna create a lot of leg pain for you. But first, you've gotta get warmed up. So, Mary's gonna do some goblet, aka bucket squats to get warmed up. Now, you can put whatever you want in the bucket. We just happen to have granite protein powder in ours. But you want to go ahead and get really, really good and warmed up before we hit our first exercise. Let me emphasize that again. You need to be really warmed up before you hit our first exercise. So Mary's going to do 30, 40, 50 reps right here. Just get a lot of blood in there, get the joints feeling good. Get the quads pumped up, get the glutes firing, get everything warmed up. All right, now, if um, you didn't see the first uh, workout we did, the push workout, make sure you go back and check that out because I talk about the bands, where to get the bands at EliteFTS.com, which bands to get and all that. So this little band here, this is a short pro mini band, and this band is about to create a lot of pain for you. Now, you won't see anybody else doing these at home workouts that create as much pain as we're about to do. So, I've got a chair here. For those of you who, who uh, don't have chairs, and all you have is a couch, you can do it on the couch too. All right, so I want you to step onto the band like this, okay? You're gonna put your back leg back. Now you're gonna hold on to the band. Now we're gonna do our Bulgarians like this. You're gonna do 10 reps. Oh, that hurts. Now you're gonna do an ISO hold where you hold it right here for 10 seconds. Then drop it, now it's drop set time. Finish with another hold, 10 seconds. Uh, oh, oh, whoo, that hurt. Rest for two or three minutes and then do the other side. Now, if you have trouble with your balance, just either hold on to something or do like I did, hold on to your leg but as you get into the groove, um, you'll be okay. That's exercise number one. Okay, so hopefully you made it through three sets of, that, of those. Your glutes are on fire, so let's keep punishing those glutes with some single leg glute bridges. So Mary's gonna show you how to do these. Notice she's coming up and flexing her glutes. She's not over arching her spine. and She's just using the right range of motion right there. You don't need to hyperextend your spinal nose. Just come up, flex your glute. Don't worry about this crazy, crazy arch. That's too much. All right, now, if you want to make these a little harder, some of this body weight stuff's not real hard enough, you got to recruit two people, though. So look what we've done with a band here. Um, I've got a mini band. I'm holding it. Alexander's holding it. So now Mary can do the glute bridge against the band. That gives you more tension. Much, much harder than just doing them with your body weight. All right, so more posterior chain work. Now we want to hit a little bit of hamstrings. Um, there's two different ways you can do these. So these are very difficult. This is actually the same band. They're green now. This is an old one. These are the monster minis. This is the short monster mini. Um, now what you want to do on this, if you watched the pull workout yesterday, you noticed that I stood, stood on these and did a row with them. We're doing the same thing. We're standing on them. But now what we're doing is we're doing a stiff legged deadlift. So you're coming up, hips back. This is not easy. This is very difficult. That's one way to do it. Now, there's another way to do it. If you have one of these 
thicker bands. We used to do these all the time in the gym. They're on my exercise index on the channel here. So you're going to step onto the band. And you're going to do them like this. This is what we call a banded good morning. A lot of hands and glutes. Very difficult. Um, if you're using the short bands, you're probably going to have a tough time getting 10 or 12. If you're doing these, you could probably do 20, 25 reps. Again, three sets of those. So we're, we got to do some quads. These are terminal knee extensions for uh, your VMO, your teardrop, your vastus medialis, this muscle right here. Notice how we just took one band, looped it around. Mary's got the band behind the back of her knee. And literally all you're doing is just straightening your leg and flexing right here. It's actually a really good quad exercise. Good. Hello, my name is Alexander Meadows and today I'm going to do the modified trapeze and his brother. All right, so we've got your hands, your glutes, your quads. Now we're going to finish with a little um, step squat here. So we've come outside. It's a nice, balmy 34, 35 degrees out here. So Mary has the band around her shoulders. So if you look here, she's got it around her shoulders. If she puts it up higher, there's not really enough tension. Now, this is going to be interesting because you're really tall, you're going to have more tension. If you're short like me, you're not going to have as much tension. So we're just on the bottom step outside here, and we're just literally doing a, 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 a one-legged squat, really. You're getting tension at the top. Now, one thing you can do is you can step up. Now she's getting more stretch. Make sure you take your time when you're doing these. And that's going to create more range of motion there. You, whichever one of these feel better for you is what you should do. So again, I don't really care about the reps. Just work them hard. Get your legs burning. Try to get somewhere to where you're getting somewhere close to failure. All right, so we got to do some calves. So I've got a rep sequence here I think you're going to like. It's 10 full reps, a 10-second ISO hold, 10 full reps, a 10-second ISO hold. And basically, you do them until you can't do anymore. So let me show you how it looks. We're going to stand here. Again, 10 reps all the way up. Stretch. All the way up. All the way to 10. So we'll say that's 8, 9. Then once you get to 10, all the way to the top and iso hold. Squeeze. 10 seconds. So we'll say that's 8, 9, 10. Now do it again. 10 reps. Down. All the way up. So we'll say that's the 10th rep. Now iso hold 10 seconds. Then you do it again. Ten more. I can get about 60 reps doing this. That's about my limit. I want you guys to see if you can get more than that. Again, ten reps all the way down, all the way up. Finish with a 10 second ISO hold at the top. Just do as many of those as you can do and that's your calves. Alright, now here's a cool little trick. This is actually a way to um, get four reps. So with the band, you stand on it. You want the band on your heel. See where the, the band's under my heel? Because what's going to happen is it's, it's actually pulling up. It's pulling my foot up, so I'm getting up to the top. So it's like somebody's under there helping me up. Another, another great way to really get up high into that contraction and flex. Those are on, they're on fire. These feel really good. I'm guessing 25, 30 reps of these and your calves will be lit up pretty good. All right, so that's legs. Remember, you really got to be warmed up. We'll do a lot of little, little air squats, bucket squats uh, before you start. So the, the, we did the, um, 
the Bulgarians, brutal. That should get you off to a great start. Then we did the single legged glute bridge. Then we moved into the stiff legged deadlifts with either double band, double short bands, or, or a bigger long band. Then we, didn't went in, then we went into the terminal knee extensions for your quads. We came outside, we did the one legged squats, and then we finished with the toe raises. So that's your leg workout. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you hit three sets of each exercise. Again, I'm not really worried about your rep. Just make them really, really hard. Make them as hard as you can. And we'll see you next time.